Hey, what's up, dear English learners? How you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope your studies are going well. Welcome to another class, and today we're looking at inventing stuff. So we're going to talk about two great inventors. So, salamat sa darbo rumat do anglistinir yurunuchlur. Bugun sahta biz oylab tabu jonde söz klas. Eki lu oylab tabu chlar jonde söz klas. So let's begin. Two great inventor. Laszlo Biro was born in Budapest in 1899. After he left school, he studied medicine at university, but he didn't finish his studies. He did a number of different jobs and then became a journalist in the 1930s. He noticed that newspaper ink dried very quickly on the paper, and put the ink into his fountain pen. However, it didn't work because the ink was very thick. He and his brother Georgi then invented a new type of pen with a small ball at the end. The new pen worked with the thick ink. It quickly became popular all over the world. In 1939, Laszlo moved to Paris and then to Argentina. Biro invented many other things, but the most important was the ballpoint pen, or Biro. Laszlo Biro died in Buenos Aires in 1985. So this is the first inventor. Now. Let's first talk about this inventor, and then we'll talk about the next one. Laszlo Biro was born in Budapest in 1899. Laszlo Biro, Budapest, 1899. After he left school, he studied medicine at university, but he didn't finish his studies. Mektepten gitken engin, universitette medicinal fakültette okan, ce medicinanı izildegen okan. Birok, özün okullardan bütürgen emez. Didn't finish. Finish bütürü. He did a number of different jobs and then became a journalist in the 1930s. Arkanday cumhurtardı kılıp, number deyin, san. Birgan çarkanday cumhurtardı kılıp, anan giyin, jurnalist bolğun. 30-cu cildara. He noticed, 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 fast D, that newspaper ink dried very quickly on the paper. And put the ink into his fountain pen. All ink degen siyah. Kağızda siyanın ötü tez, ötü bat, kurup kalışını baykağın. Notice, bayko. Anan özünün fountain pen degen bu canağı aldın siyağa tigizip durup dizatırgan uh, rüşkanı fountain pen deyip de. Uh, and put the ink into his fountain pen. Özünün oşol, oşol rüşkasına salıp kırgın siyanı. However, it didn't work because the ink was very thick. Birok bu işte vedi. Sebebi siya ayavay kalın buldu. Dolayısıyla koyu buldu. Thick degen kalın ce koyu. He and his brother Georgi then invented a new type of pen with a small ball at the end. Al Georgi degen bay kesiminin anan ayağında uçunda kişineke şarik menene canlı ruçkanın türün oylop tapkan The new pen worked with the thick ink. Canlı ruçka oşol koyu siyamenin iştedi. It quickly became popular all over the world. Al batele dünün bulun burçunda popüler du volp ketti. Became bunu biles. In 1939, Laszlo moved to Paris and then to Argentina. Birin toz ostoğun çocuğu Laszlo Paris'e göçüp anan giyin Argentina'a göçkün. Biro invented many other things, but the most important was the ballpoint pen, or Biro. Biro, to jest uszu gisi, kop tygun başka neselerdi oylop tapkan, Birok eng manulu nesesi bu oşol şarik uyu uçka olgun, şarik uçka, ce anı Biro de poyuş çıkın başında. Laszlo Biro died in Buenos Aires in 1985. Laszlo Biro, Buenos Aires'te 1985'inci yılı dünyadan kaytkanı. Okay, so now let's talk about the second inventor. Erno Rubik's father was an engineer and his mother was a poet. He was born in Budapest in 1944. After leaving school, he studied architecture and design at the Technical University. In the 1970s, he worked as an architect, and in his spare time, he invented the mechanical puzzle. Rubik called it the magic cube. It soon became popular in Hungary and the rest of Europe. 
1975, he taught architecture, but he continued to invent puzzles. In the early 1980s, the cube became popular in the USA too, and got a new name, Rubik's Cube. It is the world's best-selling toy. Some people say there are 300 million cubes in the world. Rubik became very rich and went on to invent many more games and puzzles. Uh, Erno Rubik's father was an engineer and his mother was a poet. We'll do the apostrophe post regular. So, Erno Rubik's atası, engineer bolgun, jana apası, akın bolgun. He was born in Budapest in 1944. Budapest'te 44. yılı tuğulgan. Mektepten gitgenden ki, after leaving school, he studied architecture and design at the Technical University. Technika lıq universitette arkitektura jana design dokuğun. In the 1970s, he worked as an architect and in his spare time, he invented the mechanical puzzle. 70. yılları arkitektör bolup iştegen as an architect bol siyaktu katarı arkitektör katarı iştegen jana in his spare time özünün boş vaqında spare time bol boş vaqt özünün boş vaqında mekanikalıq e, puzzle to jest bol galavolomkanı oylop tapkanı Rubik called it the magic cube Rubik anı siqır Kubik dep atadı. It soon became popular in Hungary and the rest of Europe. Batile soon skora, skore da. Vengre da popülerde bolp getti. Jana kalgan Evropanın kalgan yerlerinde. Rest degen bu özü es alu ce kalganı bulat. The rest, biz ne seden kalganı. In 1975, he taught architecture, but he continued to invent puzzles. 75. yılı arkitektura boyunca sağaq berip jürüp, Bergen, şu in the early 1980s, the cube became popular in the USA too and got a new name, Rubik's Cube. Erte 80. yıllarda Kubik Amerika'da dağı, Akşı'da dağı popülerduğu bolp getti. Cana al canlı atka kondu. Got a new name, Paluchilo, Nova Nazvanya, Rubik's Cube. Rubik'tin Kubigi. Kubik Rubik. Cana al Kubik Rubik var o, biz bilgenin oşu, 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 bir şey oylap tavukkanda. It is the world's best selling toy. Bu cildi daha apostrof boluş gerekiyle. It is the world's best selling toy. Some people say there are 300 million cubes in the world. Bu dünyanın en cakşı satılı uçu oyunculu. Geyir adamların ayetiminde dünyada 300 milyon kubik var. Rubik became very rich and went on to invent many more games and puzzles. Rubik ötü ayavay bay bolup köptügön baş, e, dağı oyunlardı, jana puzzle'lardı oylop tabuğunu ulandıkan. So, as you, as you just uh, read and followed me reading the text, and these are two great inventors. They invented the things that we use every day. Bu leki oylop tabu uçu, biz hazır günümde günde koldun uçu, Ruskan oylop tapkanca o bayağı bağırdığı kızıkkan kubik rubikti tapkanı. So, we can learn a lot of stuff from this. So, we can learn that we, you can solve some problems by actually experiencing the, experiencing the problem. Or just living in the environment, you know, or the atmosphere. So, bir problem anıca bir bir nesneni biz o şol atmosfera da cevap cürüp cevabosun bir problem anıma kavulup olup tavşuz mümkün de. And look at what they studied at school. Uh, I mean, at universities. Bayağı sanar da üniversitede ne emnen okuyanların. Design, cevabosun. Medicina'nı okuat öyle, jurnalist okuyatken. So, yeah, good luck to you too.